Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. I'm OP and in today's episode we'll be going over some of the best highlights from today's LCK 2024 Spring Split matchup. Without further ado, let's dive straight into the action. The last set of stairs uh, made of concrete thrown towards him is going to even it on the top side. And you've got the Corky roaming down, good handshake, but immediately the Dominus comes down, but he's just ended! Immediately! Okay, now Canyon moving on in there as they do have four to try and match, and Kingin, he hasn't got teleport, he can't join! Still the stun is so good from Showmaker, they dive on top of Pace DK! They're doing Bail the out. bailout onto Lucid and he's taken down, but there it is! Uh, if, it, if it is in fact Chemtech, Molten Shield. Say, whoa, okay, Flash Bear onto Canyon and Showmaker, yeah, um, used to be his best friend. Not anymore, as it turns out. Package delivered to the top lane as that's a beautiful hop from Kingin. Yeah. And I think that's just because Lucid wants to kill the bottom lane again. Now done. See how this one's gonna go as Hostile Takeover comes in. Pays gets angry at Lahens. He tries to ult it off, but they're both going down so incredibly low. The bailout comes in and Lucid is... We're not there yet. Oh, no. Definitely. We are, we are, we are. When we get a first Baron, when the inips start dropping... Well, uh, Trophy's gonna be handshook here, and now you've got uh, Aiming just throwing all the sticks that he can. And another bear comes down onto Canyon, and uh, Canyon, you, you just, that, that literally just happened to you, as now Lucid pops on over. Oh. On both sides, as all oh, Lucid. Yeah, Keen going to interrupt him here, as Lucid doesn't have kick, remember? And he's going to be pushed back. Keen does fight it, and now Chovy will turn up as well. Nature's Grasp just to guarantee that he's going to die. Kingen is looking for a back timer by the looks of things. So King coming over here, interrupts Lucid, and nothing Lucid can really do. It's Kingen was thinking about coming over to help, and then he's like, yeah, no, you're on your own, buddy. It's actually, uh, he also plays the ward, I think, mid back. <laughs> uh, let's see whether we can get it back in order. As Chovy is just going on a hexgate ride and he's going to deliver a package to King and, and he what? just explodes. Goodbye. I think. Oh, yeah. Uh, for them. As there's a flash and he doesn't even press the stun button. He waits for the targeted version. Lehens has to ult to get rid of that one. And now Kellen, he's rotating over the Nature's Grasp, not doing too much, and they pull back the Lucian and execute him. Oh. Yeah. No payout for Gen G if you can't kill him. Aiming. All right. Uh, that's a teleport. As aiming's going to have to get out of the way. Q going to miss from Lucid, and these rockets are starting to land. Yeah. And now a Fate's Call is going to come through. What? Kellen does find the handshake onto Chovy and the bailout onto himself. Lahens, is he going to go down? No, he's not, but it's going to be the double anyway. Lucid gets one of them, and there's one for aiming. He's 5 0 5. He's because that big knock could have come uh, out as uh, Q is going to connect onto Lahens. There is just the safeguard back and the kick onto him. And now Showmaker fighting against Chovy here, and that is not, that's a fool's errand. As we know, still Tibbers is getting angry. Really lethal roaming death squad. Showmaker is trying to cut some corners, right? Like, yeah. if he backs, he probably kills, like, he probably wins the 1v1. Look at Chovy. He says, That's yes, you're not allowed to. Oh, Chovy. Well, uh, Chovy is just going to get hyped. Still, Kingen was taking They're rotating <laughs> down as well. This is just, uh, this is crazy. Nice little sidesteps from Canyon, who just gets kicked over the wall. That Q going to miss, though, and he's just going to say thanks for the camp, I guess. Kick was weird um but it's it's still going to achieve its goal which is make sure the canyon dies kingen going to throw things at him and there he goes so there these rockets not necessarily landing canyon moving into position and there is the nature's grasp they want to take him down the baron is secured here by d plus but what can they get done outside of that it's corky has been caught out chovy is down and now canyon's getting all the things thrown at him lahens running for the hills you've got pays he's defending He's heading over to D+, and Lucid is going to chase down this little Melio. What is happening? I think this is... Is it happening? Is it happening? It's 15 seconds until the Hextech Drake is going to spawn, and they've already got the Baron. So, yeah. He looked happy. Maybe he was. As uh, I imagine, the man controlling him, not as much, because they're losing inhibitor turrets now. Tibbers getting aggressive as there's the package. Oh, decent redemption does come on through there, but the bailout isn't going to work onto aiming and Genji. Yeah, they managed to, uh, you know, they lose a whole bunch of their base. No! That team fight was gorgeous. 
It is good for Gen G. We just need to switch it. Change our perspective as Lucid here as well. Yeah, King and kind of abusing the uh, the Hextech soul a little bit here as he's throwing some rocks around. Lucid going to be able to lock down the tree. King and just uses his whole health bar to tank up. Finds that Q as well. Onto Pays. Gets the bailout for the extra attack speed. You love to see that. And the guarantee that he's going to survive. King's going to be taken down as well. Everything you can do, I can do better. Says it's fine. Gen G as they throw three away. And now it might just be game? Ah, it's just it's just a little bit of a roller coaster. Oh, ring. there's a cute little kickback on to Chovy, and now aiming will turn up. He does have a cozy campfire. He's pretty scary, and this bailout is really helping my anxiety. I'm not gonna lie. When I see the little bailout thing, I'm like, oh, thank goodness, he's not gonna pop like a balloon. I uh, can only do that onto one person, but these Nexus turrets are now gonna go down. They can't be bailed out, and D plus after a little hiccup, maybe. Just turn it all on its head, and they'll take the game in 32 minutes. Okay, Kellen. After one of the most memorable sport performances that we've had this split, which says a lot with some of the things that Carrier pulled off from the light. That on this actually is perfect. Yeah. I think that's a guarantee. The Mario, that's a hard one. Having vision control as Lucid looking to come on in here. There is a beautiful flash stun as the seismic shove's going to miss. The Q is already prepared, and first blood goes to Showmaker. Here so for Genji. Showmaker. Yeah. Is just going to walk his way back. Oh, waiting know. for that seismic <laughs> shove, and uh, yeah, very well aware. Oh, of, they don't uh, know. What Canyon's doing is the Glacial Prison does come on in. Try and force some plates onto this Jinx's. There it is, stopping the back on to Keen there with the Super Mega Death Rocket. Now Lucid in position, connects the Q in the dark as he does get the kick back onto Keen. To the skies, going to be coming on through there and he's not actually going to be able to connect it onto Lucid, which he would have loved to. And now some Alcove Gaming doesn't want to give the kill over to Aiming, but he's going to have to do so. And there it is, Aiming gets excited. And now they're going to look to shove this wave in. And Canyon going to be able to stop Kingin's back. Now Chovy will turn up as well as Glacial Prison going to be able to find him. There's an all out, but he's going the wrong direction here as the threaded volley doesn't exactly get any that much done, but still he's running. Kingen has a lot of ability to walk, but there is a turret there back in that lane. We're still fighting. Indeed, Lens. Gonna get kicked as that was a little bit cute. They dive on forward. The Tom Kench is going to be eaten, but now so much damage down onto the Thresh. So it's a trade of supports. Still, Tibbers is getting aggressive. Super Mega Death Rocket does a fair bit of damage there. And now Chovy, he's uh -oh. in this dragon pit. This is a bit of an awkward situation as Kingen makes the dragon angry. Lucid looks for a Q angle. And now Kingen, that's uh does uh, find it onto Lens, walking in to get some vision. Kingen gonna get seismically shoved back once again as Lucid. Yeah, yeah, he's go. not gonna be able to get in here. And Pays taking a moment where he was away from uh, Lehens. Rotations! Now, yeah, some rotations. As Lucid's also gonna be able to find Keen here. That is a long way that he just traveled. And speaking Whee! of traveling a long way, uh, Aiming's gonna do the same thing. But uh, that they're taking your mid, should have taken that. I think you might be right there, but I also think that Showmaker should have considered being alive for longer. I think you want to make them a little bit confused, you know, set up for some sort of fight here, and then just hope that Canyon comes in, steals it away, and you win the team fight. So you can create some like that for yourself, and then you've uh, set yourself up for a good position around the... Uh, the Elder, as that is a hook. Very long range on to Chovy. They're not going to be able to find too much more from it, though, as D-plus do secure themselves the Chemtech Dragon. Showmaker, Mega Cones himself towards them and just walks away. Isn't actually going to find the Tibbers angle on this one. Didn't see it. And now Lucid off on the other side, aiming, oh. taking a lot of damage. And there is a lot of poke coming on through here. If they don't actually commit to the engage, and it does really get dangerous. There is the first stun. Tom Kench going to throw down the Devourer. Sid. Now King and he's just going through his entire health bar to all of this poke. There is no answer. As Shomei, you can see, charging up the stun as best he can. Tibbers comes down on top of Canyon. Potentially a suboptimal target as they've, just, they've sacrificed so much of their health bars here. As Kellen gives aiming a lantern to get away to safety. But they're on the wrong side of the rift. 
And Super Mega Death Rocket just going to be used to try and stop them. They're still running. Destroying them, exactly right. Lucid now going to dive on top of Pays. He gets the kick flash, but there's no one there to do any damage. And now Keen's just going to shoot him. And that is going to be the Lee Sin dead. So they trade Lee Sin for a dragon. Available. He did. Right? Yeah, no, I checked it. Aiming is going to have to get out of there. Does manage to take the lantern and flash. And they just Mega Cone their way out. Remember, Minigun does a whole lot of Baron damage. Kingen needs to zone. You yeah. can't let Kingen close. Yeah, there is the Weaver's Wall. And now Kingen keeping this Baron in combat. As Showmaker off to the side does oh. have his flash available. And yeah, Showmaker not going to be able to take too much more of that as Kingen. Going to get put into prison and then just taken down. Now Lucid. He needs to get back in here if they want to be able to lock this one down. He does secure the Baron and Lahens dives on top of him. The safeguard going to get him out, but now Canyon not wanting to give this one up. Tibbers comes back though. He's creating a body in that front line as aiming. Can you stay alive? The flash lick is going to come through and there's a shock blast, but it's not enough damage to lock them down. Just want to group up and start some sort of fight. That's it. As, yeah, there's the ward down, dives on top of Trevi, but he gets the rocks out just in time. Still, Lucid is able to escape by pressing some fancy buttons and taking some lanterns. You're running to help. Oh. I, don't, I, don't, I don't think you can do it, but that's, that's the plan, Atlas. Well, I mean, they are at least going to get positional advantage around it. The Baron is uh, picked oh, up already. The trap. Because I don't think so. I think it might be a little bit of a worry as Canyon. I don't know about that one. He's going to have to get himself out of there. And now Kingen trying to tank them up as best he can. He takes the Lantern, but also his entire health bar in damage. And so D-plus going to have to get a reset on this Dragon. Oh boy, oh boy. Genji, they have Baron. They could just opt into the shove, but they're feeling confident. They are. Kellen is going to put the box down and actually tanks up a lot thanks to his uh, Aftershock there, his Teleport. To come in as Kingen repairs himself. It is very dangerous because if they lose a team fight, could be just all over if this elder is going to be taken as well. Okay, Weaver's Wall does make it into that back line as they look for Kellen. Teleport from Showmaker gets him in there. Some buttons have been traded, but not really the big ones. And look at Showmaker, he wants to get that bear out. Are we really flipping? Wants to get the big stun. Let's really? see what happens here as Lahans. He devours relatively early. Lucid's nowhere near the pit. They take down Chobi, but Lucid's dead as well. Canyon, he's on top of him. They take down the Elder. Gen G now just able to rain Hellfire on top of them. And it's a quadra kill for Pays. Obviously, we were going to game three, but I didn't know that this was the way we were going to get there. As Gen G will now march up the mid lane. Lucid, yeah, you, you killed Chovy, but that's not your job at that point in time. All comes down to whether or not you can get the secure. And it looks close, but in these type of situations, whoever gets the Elder wins 100%. Wins a hundred percent. And we are going to a game number three. But no, it is Zyara Khan into what, what is mostly a melee composition, so I, I don't think you're going to be feeling too bad. Also great for the color consistency. Really here, either side. Tristan is a little bit, little bit iffy, but we well, really... timing window, Keen does have Ghost, and King in his low. Oh, he has his second R available as well. They need to respect this. Yeah, it's all about whether or not he can find the Q. He does just flash forward to get that slowdown, and that is going to guarantee it. Q lands, and there goes first blood for Lucid once again. That's three out of three here. Four. That would be somewhat nice. As Trophy actually jumping on top of Showmaker, who's now trying to get out of the way. Is Show! Toby survives on both teams. Oh, this is risky from DK. Yeah. The three versus three coming on in here. As you can see, Showmaker moving on over. Good knock up onto Lahens. He's the squishiest one. And Lucid going to be able to take him down. But it's a trade of supports. Aiming's free hitting, but the permafrost value is so high. And Canyon even takes down the dragon. Showmaker going to be able to move over the top. And will they be able to find it? Yes, they are. As the Blade Caller comes in, Arctic Assault to get uh, so little here from the Zaya compared to the Lucian. Uh, this in, this in. Yep, and this Kenny just calling targets as we're going to see him look for a kill once again. Showmaker is at about a hundred, uh, okay, never mind. He is just going to go down. Going, oh, oh dear, okay. Uh, Showmaker once again going to get stunned up. This time Lucid will turn up and uh, Chovy isn't quite there ready. And yeah, so mid jungle, disaster. This maybe not as much of a disaster as uh, Lahens is dead. Tidal wave.
wave does come through though. Come the on. bubble connects, and now Pays is going to be able to shoot aiming, but he does have a feather storm, and there is the battle dance as well. Great knock up, and he pulls the feathers back. Pays. It's going to be the case here, as we do see the pings down. I'm pretty sure they know that Lucid is here, but Pace. Oh dear, Pace is just going to face check him, and he didn't quite know that he was in that area. There's the flash forward, and they lock down the kill onto the Lucian. But Chovy already here. They've got a backup AD carry. And Lucid's dead. running the wrong direction. And so that is going to mean that he is really, really dead. Uh, Trophy going to take a little while uh, to secure it as Lucid just wants to get himself into the death chamber well, as soon as possible. Might be really hard to come back. TP invested. Yeah, everyone TPing at exactly the same time. The coordination between King and Kane, absolutely fantastic. As Kane sets up the circle, Showmaker getting zoned out of the way by this Udyr is aiming and Kellen. Kellen actually exceptionally low at this point in the game as Lucid was just trying to hide until this Drake was down low enough. Let's see what they can get done here as, oh my god, Chovy doing so much work, but Kellen will survive for the moment. Lucid locks down the Dragon. We've got a Cloud Soul, it's amazing. But now, you've got King and going all out. They lock down the kill under the jungle. Akeen's in trouble. The Blade Call is huge. And D plus roll over the fight. He knew. I have one job. Oh god, oh. he's still here. Oh. He just gets it! All right, Chovy does manage to almost get himself out of the way. But uh, yeah, there's a Cassante there as well. He's really dead, and that is the Q well deserved by Lucid. Oh, just have to see, because Lucid nowhere inside is now Chovy getting himself out of the way, and the bear comes down a little bit late. They're still going to lose the turret here, I'm pretty sure. As Tib is not going to do too much. So both of the turrets go down, and the teleport was in vain. Yeah, I get, that's it. That's all you got. I think it's a really smart option. I feel like so much of this game is just back to old D+, but it is them up against each other. Canyon versus Showmaker with how these fights are going to go. Can the Tibbers find the big stun? Can Showmaker lock down a priority target? His Tidal Wave is going to be utilized here. Like, they're not, uh, they need to get the, the Cloud Drake. Uh, Start the Dragon! Showmaker is going to make his way back. This is exactly what we're talking about, the threat of this Tristan 9. There's Pays actually getting himself out of the way there as the... Uh, Glacial Prison does come on down. Trovi just jumps back over the wall. After. Well, let's see whether Pace can actually put it to use as King and trying to be that front line. Going to zoom all the way out as we do have that Cloud Trophy Drake up objective. and available. Yeah, Trovi is just going to shoot something. Is it just gone? Uh, I have a feeling yeah, they're it's, not it's... actually going to go over and stop this. They're pinging towards the Baron, though. I think they are very well aware that this Drake is going to be oh, taken, they and they are going to dive on top of this Baron. Control Ward goes down. And Canyon gonna make it a 50-50. They have Cassante and Lee. They shouldn't flip this. They should be able to actually get an all-out out. As this gets low, Kingen should be able to take some control Showmaker. here. Kingen on a flank angle, but so is Showmaker. Getting ready. All right, D plus all out of the pit now. Maybe that's just the end of the play. I. So it's not a huge deal. I do appreciate. Chovy's commitment to making sure that it's not aiming. Really, very impressive. Like, I'm genuinely yeah. shocked at how much they've improved over, say, like, two, three weeks ago, where everyone looked disjointed. Their fighting has been good. Their macro, though, does not even remotely compare to Genji, unfortunately. And that, that's Genji's biggest strength, so we're not too shocked at it. But it yeah, is. waiting for that blue trinket to come on down here as the teleport. They're wasting absolutely they no time it. for that one, yeah. So, the Baron. Not going to be involved in this fight anymore as in goes Kellen. He looks for the opportunity, but he immediately just explodes. Chovy a bit too fast on the trigger finger. That time around, though, he comes a bear to the face. And that means that he's unable to get rid of Showmaker, but already the Rakan is out of the fight, so Genji just have the advantage. Well, Keen, he's going to do his best. He's going to be spotted, though, as that Sonic Wave does come in. King and utilizing the extra damage reduction as he does manage to absorb a fair bit of damage from Pays there. There's the kick, that one was cute. He's gonna oh. be all out and all over the wall as well and Lucid will be taken down. But that is so much damage now missing, now aiming it is your turn to get the work done. The Q gonna connect and it's Kingen that's making it happen. Another Q lands on the Chovy. Oh, is this World's King and is he back? Aiming's flashing on top of the Tristana, that's gonna be it. And D-Plus have done it. Genji have not been under this much pressure since since game one. I that's that standing gold. Yeah, absolutely ludicrous. Oh, guys. Uh, yeah. Um, this has happened before. As Tidal Wave is going to come on through, King is going to get stunned up momentarily, but still. 
I don't know about the pincer maneuver here for Gen G though with this particular composition, but they're still going to look for it as the Lee Sin taking so much damage. Q connects onto Canyon, but a bit of a disconnect here. 40 plus Featherstorm already down as Kellen battle dances his way out of the fight. Kingen trying to get those dashes through Tibbers, keeping them interested. There's a kickback on the pace Whoa! once again from Lucid, who will be taken out, but he takes the 80 carry with him. And now Kingen trying to be tanky, but it's just not going to work. And Keen, oh no, that wall strategy that we were talking about it's gonna be employed and he's just gonna walk all the way past the Annie and now try and use it against aiming whose auto attacks are pretty scary but Canyon he's scary as well and there's no feather storm this time Chovy's gonna get the auto attacks across and only Kellen survives seven elemental drakes on the day oh they're not gonna let Chovy just take this one yeah lucid is running across the cloud rift and he is going to be able to get in there. Not able to steal this one away, but he gets into the back line. They manage to find Chovy, but he survives for that little bit too long. Pace is getting out of there, but that means he's not going to be able to defend that's the true. rest of his teammates. And it should be. Well, yeah, that's up in 30 oh, seconds. We're back to it one more time. Oh my god, that was just so sick. Uh, yeah. throughout this oh. game as uh, Canyon is just going to get kicked back. A very aggressive positioning here from the jungler from Gen G, and maybe he forgot which team colors he was wearing because, of course, last year it was the D-plus ones. They, they want to force a fight, though, because they're up a member. The backs are getting cancelled here. Yeah, and uh, this is all to make sure that Chovy can keep pushing down this mid lane. And all of them are going to back away, aiming. He's going to sit here and oh, uh, clear out this next minion wave as well. It's going to be an elder flip, isn't it? Oh, 100%. That's going to decide this game. This is this is the way. They this want to make this one happen or just get a sick smite as the Glacial Prison connects onto aiming. They have to use the Mikhail's already in this fight. As Showmaker gets over the wall, but immediately he's punished. Taken down by Pays. Aiming still there. He's still so important, but the Buster Shot removes them from the area. The knockup is massive. Pays gets himself out and now Lucid. The smite is down. And the Elder Dragon should belong to Gen G once again. D plus unable to, unless Aiming is still alive, I guess, for this moment, but the Elder belongs to Gen G. He's on the wrong side of the rift and they have. Haven't been able to kill anyone in this team fight. And so the president, unfortunately, will be the last man standing. King and lands a big Q, but it is for naught. And Genji will teleport to celebrate their victory. It was close until closer, it really wasn't. Closer than it has been. Genji pushed to the very edge. But the win streak started in 2022 will continue gen g do i guess it again lock in round two yeah that is going to be second place these were some of the best highlights from today's lck 2024 spring split matchup which moment was your favorite let me know in the comment section below this is op and i'll see you tomorrow take care